The beauty of podcasting is that you're not limited to one specific platform. You can put your podcast just about anywhere. And at rss.com, we want to help you do just that. Prepare for maximum coverage. RSS.com's distribution feature is your intergalactic highway to podcast success. With automatic and guided distribution, your show can be submitted to all the major podcast directories, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube Podcasts, Amazon Music, and more. No need for multiple accounts or complicated processes. Once you're set up, New episodes are automatically distributed, ensuring your episodes reach as many new listeners as possible. Here are the main features. Automatic distribution. Easily share your podcast across the top listening apps. Auto updates. New episodes are distributed automatically, creating less work for you. And you can start a podcast on YouTube. Easily convert your audio-focused episodes into engaging videos using our PodViz technology. Let's take a look how distribution on RSS.com works. Okay, so let's look at all the ways we can distribute our podcast using RSS.com. When you have a new show, if you click on distribution, you might notice that you need to publish an episode before you submit to directories. So keep in mind, some directories require at least a 30 second audio clip. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll click let's do it and then we'll click new episode. So I'm going to call this welcome to the launch pad. And then I'll just make a simple description. Here's what you can expect from this new podcast focused show. Okay, then we will select trailer. We can also choose to add a season number if we want, as well as custom episode artwork, but we don't need to do that. And then we'll upload the audio file. Okay, once we do that, we'll click save draft. The audio will get uploaded and processed. And then once it's done processing, we can choose to schedule a publication date I would recommend with a trailer that you publish immediately. That way we can submit our podcasts to all of the directories. Okay, so let's go back to the distribution page. Your podcast may take some time to process. Once it is done processing, you'll be ready to launch on all the major platforms. And you'll see that we have a number of directories we can automatically submit to. So if you want to submit to Spotify, for example, you can just click this toggle, accept the Spotify terms of service, and click continue. Then your show will be submitted to Spotify. You can repeat this process for all of the automatic submission directories, or you can press submit now and select the terms of service for each one. There are some directories that don't allow for automatic submission. You'll have to do them manually. One example is Apple Podcasts. So we have a tutorial here for how to walk you through it. We also give you your RSS feed down here for the manual submission. So if you want to submit your podcast to Apple Podcasts, click the RSS feed and then click submit your show to Apple Podcasts. You will need to set up an Apple Podcast Connect account. If you already have an Apple account, you should be able to use those credentials for this process. Once you're logged in, you'll have the opportunity to submit a new show. Under Podcasts, there's a purple button. Click that, then click New Show. Choose Add a Show with an RSS feed and click Next. Then paste the RSS feed that you copied into the RSS feed URL field. Click next. Then you'll choose manage user access, grant show access to everyone. This is if you have multiple users on your account. So if you don't have multiple users managing your podcasts, you may not see this. 
and then click add. Then Apple Podcasts will process your show and when it's ready to go, you'll be able to publish it. Once Apple Podcasts is done processing your show, all of the information will show up here in Apple Podcasts Connect. The last thing you'll need to do is set the content rights. So depending on if your show does or does not uh, contain third-party content, you'll need to select this. So my show does not contain third-party content, so I'll check that. If it has third-party content and has the rights, you can select this. Note that uh, you do need to have the necessary rights according to Apple Podcasts in order to include third-party content. So once that is selected, I'll click Save and Publish. And now the show is published. And it may take some time to propagate to uh, Apple Podcasts and all of the other directories, but your show is officially now on Apple Podcasts. The last thing we'll want to do here is copy the Apple Podcasts URL and paste it in our rss.com dashboard so that we can have this subscribe button show up on our website in any place like the share box. So we'll click save changes here. And now we're all set up with Apple Podcasts. The last distribution channel I wanna show you is how to get your podcast on YouTube. So let's take a look at that now. On the distribution page for your podcast, if we scroll down, you can see that we have YouTube, convert your audio episodes into video and publish them. This is going to create a richer video experience. It'll have uh, some waveforms in the video. If you have custom chapter artwork, it will include that as well. So if you are putting your podcast on YouTube, which we strongly recommend, we also recommend that you use this feature using our PodViz technology. So I'm going to click activate. Then we need to sign in with our Google account and then I will choose the proper Google account. I'll choose the channel that I want to connect to and allow. And now we have the ability to publish to YouTube. So we can choose a playlist. YouTube recommends that you do create a custom playlist. So I will need to create a playlist for this. Uh, this is optional though, so we don't necessarily need to do that. We'll make the visibility public. We need to mark if it's explicitly made for kids. This is not kid friendly. This is specifically made for kids. So if your content is not specifically made for kids, make sure it's selected. No, it's not made for kids. And then we're all set. The last thing that you need to do when you are ready to publish to a YouTube channel is go back to your podcast and for each episode, click on the create video and publish on YouTube and then click publish episode. So then our PodViz technology will turn your audio only episode into a video and put it up over on your YouTube channel. And once that is done, the icon will turn to a green check mark. And then if we go over to YouTube, we can see the video here. It's got our artwork and it's got the waveform as I am talking with the exact description and title that we gave it. Expand your podcast's reach effortlessly. Our podcast distribution is designed to maximize your show's visibility across the podosphere. Whether your listeners prefer to tune in via their favorite app or discover new shows through directory searches, RSS.com ensures your podcast is ready to be discovered by new followers and fans.